good at morning guys welcome to today today is Monday it is a long it was a long weekend Sam and I are exhausted I slept from 5 p.m. last night until 6 30 a.m. this morning I had about uh, I got up for about an hour last night slept most of the night through got up just for an hour it was wild like Nobody slept last weekend. Nobody slept on the weekend. But anyway, today's an exciting day. We're getting some work done on our fencing today. So I'm super excited to go out and see uh, it all finished. But you can see the poles that are going in there. But we're fixing up the goat field. And we're letting the horses out onto new pasture this afternoon. We are in Gabby's room. No wonder you been you've been brushing your dog. This floor, look it. Just she just hair just falls off on this floor. This is a, a good, yeah, yeah. it just yeah. fell off while she was walking by. Anyways, um, I just came down to kill spiders in Gabby's room. Gabby, no, you, should you should open the wind, open the blinds. It would be so bright in here. Okay, so anyways, if you're new to the channel, this is Gabby's room. She has this whole amazing little area. If it was me, I'd have all those blinds open. But anyway, so I came down to, to sweep her room and get rid of spiders. And I saw her shelf and she redid her shelf. And I was like, I just do not have the knack for this. I, she's really into anime and she's been collecting stuff. You set it up and like I'm like, store. what the heck? How do you like know how to do you this? Set it up like that I store. can't decorate like this. Like that's why our house always looks so plain. You, you can't either, but you did. She probably looked at a photo. She did, but how did you from do this? Pinterest. She did it from Pinterest. But your whole room is pretty. Because I can fit all, all of these books on the same shelf. So you... It's just very crowded. Yeah, So, but look at that. It's like from a magazine. So I, lo I love it. If we ever get... Yeah, I had no room to put this on. Okay, so that's what it looks like, how she wants it to look. So this is how she wants it to look. It is gorgeous. I am obsessed. I love it. I want bookshelves now and I want you to decorate them. So then on the bottom shelf she has all of her little anime figures that she got in her advent calendar last yeah, I year. Rearranged that one. She oh, hasn't gosh. rearranged that one yet. Do you have any ideas of what you could do? Actually, do you know what you could do? The same thing. Put more books because she's ran out of room for books. Put more books down there and then just add the little creature, those little those little things like you did the stuffies. I love it though. Like it is adorable. She matches the characters to the books. Yeah, like look at that, that's amazing. Is that your only box of ribbons? Yeah, it's all my ribbons. That's all your ribbons? Is this one the first one? This one? Yeah. What did I you- I got this on Storm. Yeah. It goes around your horse's neck. I know, I love ribbons like that. They don't hang very well, but they're really cool. And then this one I got on Chino. I'm not sure which, I think it was Storm that won. I showed them. I literally showed them the same day, the same time. Storm literally and Chino? did the first course on Chino, swapped to Storm to the first course. I'm, I'm not miss. sure if I did the second course on Storm. Or I miss doing shows like that, like taking no, both of your I went boys. I the show ring, showed one horse, it got out, hopped on my other horse and went back in. Yeah, I love that. This is where Gabby comes. She, she's she been working with a uh, tutor, a math tutor. She likes doing math. <laughs> the tutor makes all the difference. She's just an amazing girl that can teach anybody. And Gabby loves working with her. So this is the spot she comes when she does her math. I imagine this is where she'll come when she does her homework. But it worked out perfect that she has this little counter here. I don't know what it is, but it's working good as a desk. Would you want to put move that microwave and put a laptop down here? No. For homeschool, for for homework and stuff, no. But anyways, it works out good. Chino's drugs are stacking up, you guys, stacking up. Let's talk to the vet. I'm gonna give you guys a quick update. I think every horse should have its own area of ribbons. These are so special because they're willows. They're willows' very own ribbons. Twenty years, you guys. She's Twenty years old. Sat in a field for fifteen years. And she has ribbons. Finally, it's Chino's insulin levels are back from the vet. I read, I read the horses with end stage um, Lyme disease can have elevated uh, insulin levels, but that is not correct in Chino's case. His insulin levels were good. I should have asked him what they were. He never gives me values. 
but it doesn't matter. His insulin levels are good. It still remains though that if we try and change his diet in any way, like if we increase his diet, even just a small amount, and this has been for a year, he gets abscesses, like a lot of abscesses, and abscesses that are totally debilitating for him and can last for like a long, long time. And so we talked about that and he said the cure for this is to increase his is to fix the gut so um we do we've always done a course every three every three months we do a course of probiotics for our horses and it hasn't made a difference for chino and i just started him on them again now because i want to support his system while he's taking all these drugs he said it's not the fact that you're giving him probiotics it's the fact that he needs something specific so he needs ones with live bacteria so he gave me a name i have to go out there and try and find it now so he's going to get the probiotics and he said along with the probiotics i'm going to give him brewer's yeast so once we start that which will be like tomorrow um he will do it for 10 days and then we can start increasing his food and by increasing his food he gets a lot of food right now he gets more than he's ever eaten before but the thyroid and all the things that are out of whack from the Lyme disease are making him lose weight. So even though we're giving him tons of food, his thyroid being off, which will be fixed with the antibiotics because that'll fix the Lyme disease, um, make him lose weight. So I want to give him more, but I can't increase it because then it causes really bad problems for his feet. I want to build him back up. So having said all that, the vet still thinks that the outcome for Chino is poor. Isn't that awful? Like, that's so sad. Like, he said whenever he sees late stage diseases like Chino has, coming back is a really, really hard journey. So what I told the vet was, we're going to give him the drugs. We're going to give him a bunch of supplements. We talked about it. He, he gave me the names of all the supplements that he needs. He needs vitamin E. He needs selenium. He needs probiotics special probiotics he needs like there's a lot of stuff a lot of stuff um we're going to support him as he gets better through the course of these antibiotics and then we're going to take the next step if he still doesn't come sound we're going to go further and we're going to do more x-rays we're gonna we're gonna see then if he's going to come back from this it's just because he's getting all the things he needs now doesn't guarantee he's going to come back from it so he might not come from back from it i feel positive the vet doesn't feel positive he said when it's late stage like this the chances of them coming back but I believe in a greater power I believe in a higher power I believe that what's meant to happen is gonna happen and we're gonna do everything that we can and that's what I said like if he doesn't come back from it we've done everything we can we're gonna do everything we can and that's that's where it ends with this part of Jer Chino's journey I'll share with you guys as things get going and as he starts to get better and better and better and how things are changing and we'll see together if he comes back but I believe you guys I believe so today I'm learning to drive this thing <laughs> for the first time ever my kids know how to drive it but I don't all the way down okay turn it oh, on that's powerful turn it on So Sam and I are going to go and make some new trails on the property. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I'm close to the gate and Honey knows I'm going. She was in the shelter. Poof, she's right behind me. She's such a pretty little horse. You're not coming. This <laughs> is going to be a problem. All right, so we're going to... Yeah, it's too bad that this gate wasn't on this side and that you couldn't close that off. We're going to work on this, but right now we're going to put the horses out in the other field. He's just going to make sure there's no gates open. You want me to come with you? Okay, we're going to open up another pasture for them. We're going to let this pasture grow and we're going to put the horses in the new pasture. Come on, come on, Pen. Storm's like, he, they all want to go. They see this gate and they're like, I want to go out there. Come on. Come on. I don't know how we're going to prevent them from running off. No, not that way. Whoa. And that's how Storm goes. <laughs> he's, he's been eyeing it up. He's been sizing it up. This is not going good now. Come on. 
get in there. Good. Okay, close the gate and I'll go get Penny. Don't chase that baby. Wow. See, he like, he looks so good. This is the best I've ever seen him look. Like he just looks happy. And you know what it is? It's the not riding all the time. Penny. I'm the kind of person that can like go all the time. Yeah, I'm gonna get a halter for her. So I'm like, I can go. When I go and sit, when I go in the house, I'll sit down at lunchtime and I'll eat. And then like 10 minutes later, I'm like raring to go. I have to get up, I have to be doing stuff. Sam's the kind of guy that could sit in the chair. Actually, he gets up in the morning and he goes, goes, goes. And then he could sit in a chair. Oh, love birds. I know, you love him. And it's like that with Storm. Storm Storm needs rest times. Not that we ever overdid him, ever, but he's not a horse that needs to be ridden like three times a week. He's like a once, maybe twice a week kind of guy. And he doesn't like too stressful of work. Like he can do it, but it's not his thing. He feels revived when he has a lot of rest. Come on. <laughs> Fine, go. You're going to new food, Pen. Let me just catch you. The minute she saw she was coming out this door though, she got so excited. <laughs> she's way too dignified to run, but she's excited. <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Anyway, they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. I have no idea where Stormy Boy is, but Sam and I are gonna go and cut some new trails. Will we just leave this gate open and let them go back and forth? Yeah. Oh. All right. There we go. Enjoy horses. This will be stimulation for them too, mental stimulation, because it's like a whole new home. All right, so Sam came in here with the tractor and he said there's a really interesting trail we could do in here, but he's afraid to go down there with the tractor. But he said we could come walk it and see how far we could go and I could even bring like a lawnmower down and, and explore. But there are, other, there are also paths in the woods, which we're gonna clear up and and try and go down in. I don't know if you guys can get a good idea. He said there's a, whoops, he says there's a ravine down in here. But we found a really cool old fashioned bottle and it looks like it's got this really neat pattern on it. It looks really old. Guys, do you guys see it? Oh, <gasps> do you see it? Holy moly. I can't believe it. There better not be snakes. <gasps> Look! Look what I found! Wow, there's two, there's a little one there. Bet you there's more, but I'm taking it. Finders keepers. Oh, it's heavy. It's in such good, whoops, good shape. Oh. I know what's for dinner tonight. I can't believe it. I can't believe I found that. It's a puffer mushroom. I love these things. It basically is just like a really thick mushroom and it takes the shape, it takes the taste of whatever you cook it with. So I cook it with onions and garlic and it's just like really thick and mm, it's so good. I can't wait to eat it. This property has two acres of woods. What? Holy water. It's holy water. It's got a cap so, it's got a fish and a... Yeah, it's somebody. biblical. So it looks like Jesus <laughs> carrying so somebody. I know, there's stuff in it. But let's see, show the front. So there's a picture on it. And it looks like Jesus. Somebody carrying a fish. This is probably oh, cod liver oil. <laughs> it probably is. But it looks like... Let's see. It, no, it doesn't say. But we can probably Google it. Yeah. But it looks like, you know, Jesus, the story of the five, or the story of the fishes where he gets a, like five fish or two fish or something and he divides it and feeds a multitude of people. 
Doesn't it look like biblical times? I think it's cod liver oil. It probably is, but it's white. <laughs> Who cares? It's old. It cod liver oil is an old remedy for a lot of things. There's an old, did you see an old wagon in there? Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, let's go show my, my puffer belly. I call it a puffer belly. I think it's called a puffer mushroom, but I call it a puffer belly. It's so cool. I love them. And this, this one is the perfect size. Are they missing? No. <laughs> Sam stops right at the top of the property. The hill because I couldn't see. They're behind the hill? Yeah. That's like the most scary thing when you put horses in a new field that they've never been in before. Are they down by the bottom? Well, Penny's down there and the other two are down. They can see the goats, you guys. Goats and horses are probably meeting. So Sam's going to close this gate. We can open it like at other times. But we're going to shut off these two fields, shut these two fields off. He's going to take that tractor around and he's going to trim off all the weeds. And then these pastures are going to rest for the fall. So this is a big mess. <laughs> this is the only thing I don't like about construction is that things get ripped up and ruined. <laughs> My pretty field. Uh, but this is the start of, well, this is the start of the new fencing. But there are the horses on the, on the, on the other field. Storm and Gracie. Storm and Gracie, best friends. And then a penny over there and then the baby over there. So we have them locked into that field, not locked in. They can go back to the barn, but we have them like, so see the posts? See the posts way down there? They can't get to that field so that they're not in here with the goats. So the goats are temporarily locked in. <laughs> Sorry about your lock, babies. Don't you know that you're